Hi, I'm back again with another review here for you guys on YouTube. Uh, went down to my local hobby store. I bought two Rapido Super Continental Line uh, passenger cars. I spent $110 on both of these cars. Now, they're very detailed cars. However, one thing I didn't like about them is the lighting. I'm a big lighting buff. And I'll show you guys in the dark later how when these things light up, they the light shines through the walls and it looks very toy like but let's go ahead and get to the other part of these cars so let's get to the good stuff these cars are real detailed you've got really detailed underbodies with all the piping and wiring you have even got the little window shades each car is named I only bought two they've got the grab irons already installed They've got little fencing to cover up each connector, each diaphragm. The diaphragms are spring-loaded. And overall, these cars look really good. I've got a duplex sleeper. And then I bought a uh, Imperial Cape 10-5 uh, sleeper. So these two cars will go well with my set but like I said they're light lighting problems now the lighting comes already pre-installed on these cars all you have to do is take it out of the box install two little watch batteries and then the lighting is ready to go now if you're not familiar with Rapido and their new Super Continental line they go off of this magic wand to turn the light on and off so you hit it once to turn it on once to turn it off and in daylight it doesn't look too bad but when you get it in dark it doesn't look good at all and so I'll take you over to a darker location with one of these cars and show you how it works okay here we are in a dark location can't see the car right now. There, I've turned the car on, and what you have is the lighting coming all the way through the walls. Now, I'm not up on model railroading, like I've only started a couple months ago, but this is the first lighted passenger set I have. The idea is good, but when it comes to the walls this badly, it doesn't look very well. So, the initiation of the wand, I can turn this off again and back on. That's basically the gist of it. So let's go back out to the lighted area. Basically, just a final review. Yeah, I would have ultimately bought these. The price is good. Uh, for the detail however it really the lighting is disappointing so if you're in the lighting then maybe you shouldn't go with these maybe you should pick something else or install your own lighting I'm not very electrically inclined so I like the idea it's already installed but the fact that the light shines through the walls like that is a real major turnoff well thanks for watching and look for further reviews here on YouTube